Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler from TKD, back with another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video, and today, I'm going to be opening up 64 of the 77 plus overall most feared packs. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter doing well with these, and um, I, I wanted to get in them too. I'm going to open up all my training. I'm going to do half here and half in another video. So 64 per, I felt like 120 plus packs in one video is going to be kind of a stretch with animations and stuff. Plus I want to keep it short. I noticed some of you guys said that you prefer the shorter pack opening, so that's what I want to do. But uh, yeah, so you're probably going to see this one and then another one. But uh, let's not waste any time. Let's keep this as short as possible. Let's get right into the packs. I've only seen the wings like once or twice, and I haven't seen the 92. So hopefully we can get some fire pools out of here. I'm really just hoping for like some 85s and stuff too. Because what I want to do is I want to get enough to get the players for the Ray Lewis. And I'm going to do the Ray Lewis, and then I think I'm going to quick sell the Nats. Hey, 85 Tevin Coleman. That is huge. That is really good. Um, I mean, it's not like crazy. Like if I pull a 92, it's going to help so much. But um, so we're going to get down to 16,000 training. So I'm going to do like a little extra. But I want to do this because then I can get the Ray Lewis and then I can quick sell the, the Nats. And that'll give me enough bats sitting for when they drop the second part of this promo. I'll be able to, you know, work with whatever they do put out. Um, all this training came from the return that we got from EA. So this is basically for free. I went through and made sure all my players still had the abilities they needed before I did this. So my team's back to where it needs to be, so I'm really losing nothing out of this. And yeah, I could do, um, I could like hold on to the training and do other stuff with it. But uh, I feel like this is just more fun. I, I like to gamble, and this is like EA letting me gamble without having to actually like risk anything that I put into the game. So uh, we're just going to run through these, man. Hopefully we can pull a couple 85s, maybe an 88. And I really want 192 out of all 120 packs. Give me 192, and I'll be happy. That's, that's what I'm going for. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about some other stuff while we're going through these, man. First off, let me just go ahead and turn this around, man. Houston is going to the World Series, and I'm going to be here for it. I really want to go to a game, but it's like $500 to $600 for a game, and uh, that's just not going to happen. Like, I cannot afford that. However, it's going to be crazy down here because I know everybody's going to be talking about it, and everybody's just going to be super excited. And honestly, I cannot wait. Um, I mean, I feel like the Nationals are definitely a good team, but I feel... Like, in my opinion, with the two rosters, like, the Nationals have really good pitchers, but, I mean, the Astros arguably have even better pitchers with goal and Ver goal with Cole and Verlander. So, it's going to be an interesting series. Um, I wanted to go to Game 6, and I, I probably could have, but we had other plans already. But I saw the replay of the Altuve walk-off home run. I was at a game where they hit back-to-back -back home runs, and they were up by, like, three runs or four runs at this point and it was electric so I could not imagine how crazy it got when he hit that but I'm, I'm really excited for that hopefully you guys are too uh, let me know in the comments uh, who do you guys have winning the World Series I have the Astros I have the hat I'm down here in Houston man and if they win I'm definitely going straight to the city the night that they win because it is gonna be pandem 85 Marcus Cannon let's go man these packs are pretty good Give me like 188 and 192 in this video, and I'll be happy. Give me one in each. Oh, it's going to be amazing. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. How do you feel uh, the postseason went? Did it go how you expected? Did you expect the Dodgers to get beat? Um, I, I didn't think they would get beat, but they did. Um, Milwaukee was playing good in that one game that they played and ended up not winning it. The Cardinals had that like nine-run first inning one game and then turn around and got swept. It, I mean, it was crazy. Uh, but let, let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is going to win? What do you think of how the uh, postseason has gone? Um, who's your favorite MLB team as well, if you want to throw that in there? Just uh, try to get some MLB talk going, you know. Uh, the season's almost over. I'm not exactly sure when MLB... Oh, I think this is... Was this 19? So is it 20 or 21? I'm not sure if they're one year behind Madden. I don't know when the new MLB comes out, so... I'm sure as soon as it comes out, we're going to start grinding that game. Um, Call of Duty. Call of Duty comes out the 25th. I know we're primarily a sports channel, and we haven't talked about it, and like I don't even know if we're going to do anything like this. But how would you guys feel about maybe like COD videos or like Fortnite videos? Like I don't know how you feel about that. 
I will say that on my streams, when I start streaming, I've been playing a good amount of Fortnite recently, and I'm going to play COD when it comes out. So if you guys do come by the streams when I start streaming, there will be Fortnite and COD along with Madden and the new MLB when it comes out. I probably won't play any of the MLB that's out now. I just really don't enjoy playing it anymore. It's just kind of old, and I haven't really played it in so long that my team's kind of outdated. But yeah, so that, that's kind of my opinion on, uh, on the... World Series, who I want to win, who I think is going to win. Um, I guess if I had to predict, I'm going to say Strohs in six. I'll say Strohs in six. I think it's going to be 4-2. Uh, I definitely don't see it going to a game seven. Um, so my call is Strohs in six. And I'll say, I'm going to go with Altuve again. Altuve got the MVP of this last series. I'm going to say Altuve gets the MVP of the, of the World Series as well. And then say they don't win. I have no idea on the Nationals who would get the MVP. I'm really not familiar with anybody on the Nationals. Like, the only person on the Nationals I know is Adam Eaton. Or, is that right? I think it's Adam Eaton, the outfielder. Uh, and that's just because, you know, similar name. But, um, yeah, like, that. that's my pick on that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, NFL Sunday. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday. So, I watched some of the games. Um, some games were... A little unexpected I would say uh, let me let me check the scores on some of them Anything good no all right guys so I have the uh, I have the games from this week pulled up um, I haven't really watched I watched some of the Rams Falcons game because I really want to see that Julio and Jalen Ramsey matchup I kind of got to it late I only saw a couple plays uh, most of what I saw was the highlights just because like I was playing Fortnite while it was going I was playing with a couple other people um, but the Chiefs beat the Broncos. I expected that. I started Phillip Lindsay on my team, on my fantasy team, because I thought, like, the Broncos, I didn't think they were going to score six points. Like, I thought they would still do okay on offense just because the Chiefs don't have, like, a really good defense. And honestly, I don't know if it's the Chiefs' defense was playing well or the Broncos' offense is that bad, but Phillip Lindsay had, like, no points at all. It, it was rough. It was definitely rough on me. The Packers, I heard Aaron Rodgers had six touchdowns today. I didn't see it, but that's insane. Or five or six I think I mean he's like he has his ups and downs but he's still one of like the best quarterbacks in the league like sometimes he gets hurt sometimes things don't go his way but I mean he's he is human like everybody has that happen to him not everything's gonna go your way all the time 49ers and Redskins okay so I started Jimmy Garoppolo over Kirk Cousins because I really thought that the 49ers were gonna just throw all over the Redskins I did not think the Redskins defense was going to do anything at all. I also didn't know that it was going to be like a monsoon on that field. Like I saw some of the clips of people like sliding around on the field and it was insane. But I was kind of bummed out. Garoppolo, 85 Marcus Cannon. Let's go. Keep giving me those 85s. I want to see something bigger though. But um, I saw the clips of people sliding around on the field. I thought that was, that was funny to see. Um, like I said, uh, Kirk Cousins threw for four touchdowns. Vikings beat the Lions. I expected that. Okay, so I'm a Bengals fan. Uh, we played Jacksonville today. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, you know, maybe we have a shot. And I forgot who their quarterback was. And then I saw, like, a post that said Garner Minshew, and he did something. I think it was a touchdown pass. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. They do have Garner and Minshew. We're definitely losing, and we did. We lost 27-17. Uh, to 17. But, you know, I'm cool with that. If they want to keep tanking, that's fine. Be right there with the Dolphins. Just just keep tanking. Don't – I know A.J. is going to be back soon. One, do not trade A.J. Green. Please do not trade A.J. Green. And second off, just keep losing. Like, I'm sorry if it kills the team round, but just please keep losing because you're not going anywhere at this point. We're like, what? Was this week seven? I don't think we've had a bye either. So we're 0 7. Just keep losing. Uh, next game, the Cardinals and Giants. The Cardinals ended up winning that game. Um, I didn't get to see it. I wish I would have, though, because I, I feel like that was probably a good game. Kyler Murray and Daniel Jones going at it. Two big names right now, big rookie names that are really balling out. Um, I've seen some clips of some of the Kyler Murray throws that he's had, not in that game, but just in general. And I mean, his passing is is better than I thought it would be. Uh, I really don't have a lot to say about that game. They just, other than like those two guys, I'm not really interested in either of those teams. I know Derek's a Giants fan, but, oh, come on, baby. Come on. Cam Newton, let's go, man. Oh, my God. Oh, we pulled them. We pulled them.
Ah, yes, man. Oh, and we still got so many packs left. We still have another 4,000. Was that four times? Five? At least 16 packs left. I'm going to have to turn that down because I was screaming. We got Cam Newton, guys. That is going to make this set so much easier. I could get one more free if I wanted to by doing the um, the house rules, but I'm not doing those. I'm not playing that many games. I've played them, and I win a lot of them. Like, I think I'm, like, 10 and, like, 2. But they're, like, full-out games. Like, people are not quitting for me. I, I don't like that. So, I, I don't want to be there all day. But, man, dude, my heart. Oh, my goodness, my heart. I definitely have enough bats to, to get another one, like, guaranteed. And then I'm going to have to figure out the last. Where, where, okay, what's going on here? There it is. But, yeah, I want to do that set because it'll, I mean, it's not going to cost me really anything to do it. I'm going to get Ray Lewis. You will definitely get a Ray Lewis gameplay. I might sell him. I might sell him. I have a lot of linebackers. I don't know yet. I might keep him and get rid of Pat Willis. You're definitely going to get a Ray Lewis gameplay. Before I quick sell those players, you're definitely going to get gameplay with those because their quick sell value won't go down. So it'll be Earl Thomas, Tyler Lockett, and Cam Newton gameplay, which is going to be interesting because I've seen the Cam card, and I don't think it's very good, but he can run, so, you know, who knows. Um, let's get back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, they're always trashing on my pack luck, man, and it's true. My pack luck is bad, but that one was clutch. All right, so Bills Dolphins, 31-21 Bills. I don't know if you guys saw it. I didn't see it live, but I saw the replay. <laughs> I saw Micah Hyde take a, an onside kick to the house. Like, you are you were taught to, like, grab it and fall. And Micah Hyde's like, nah, coach, I got us. Don't you worry about it. It was insane. He catches it midair and does, like, a spin, and he's just gone. It, it was honestly nuts. Um... Currently, the Titans are beating the Chargers. The Ravens and Seahawks are tied. The Saints are beating the Bears by nine. And then we've got Eagles and Cowboys tonight on Sunday Night Football. I'll be watching some of that. And Patriots and Jets tomorrow. I'm really not that interested. I have Le'Veon Bell. That's really my only stake in that game. But uh, that's kind of my rundown of what's going on in the league right now. That Cam Newton pull, man. But... There's one more thing. I wanted to wait until uh, like the last thing to talk about, at least with this, before I brought it up. So I don't know if you guys saw Aaron Donald and Devontae Freeman got into it today in their game. 85 Marcus Cannon, let's go. I don't know if you saw that Aaron Donald and Devontae Freeman got into it in their game today, but Aaron Donald literally picked this man up like a child and just carried him, and Devontae Freeman threw a punch and literally did not phase Aaron Donald at all. It was honestly the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Like, he literally made Devontae Freeman look like a child. I don't know what Devontae Freeman was thinking, man. Like, he, he must think he's some kind of tough guy because Aaron Donald is massive. And compared to a running back, Devontae Freeman would have died if Aaron Donald got mad enough to just throw one back. I don't think he'd be able to take a punch from Aaron Donald. But I thought that was funny. So we're going to go ahead and keep, uh, we're going to finish off ripping through these. Like I said, my plan is to do the set for Ray Lewis, get those cards. Hey, I, I like getting these 81s too. I, they're not a whole lot more bats, but it's nice. I mean, it's better than getting a 77. Like I said, I'm going to get the Ray Lewis set done. Uh, I'm going to get some gameplay with all four of those cards. I'm probably going to quick sell them, and then hopefully I'll have a decent amount of bats left over from when this is done. And uh, when the second part of it drops, I'll already have bats for whatever they're going to do. Hopefully the best thing for the second part doesn't involve training because there's really not a whole lot to do with your bats right now. You can't really gamble your bats on a pack like this. Hopefully in the second part they drop like a 77 plus overall most feared for like 100 or 150 bats or something like that because... Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry. For like 400 bats, I think. Because uh, training to bats, like I'm spending 250 training and I think the 77s are like 350. 350 bats or 360 bats so it had to be like 400 or maybe 360 because that's kind of like you know bare minimum but uh, we've got two more two more packs hopefully I can get you be like an 81 just give me an 81 or like an 85 something something good uh, hopefully just not two 77s it'll probably be two 77s I had a 79 but yeah uh, let me let me know what you guys think about most feared so far um, 
I don't know about the promo. I'll talk about it some more in the next video. I just kind of feel like the cards are kind of let down so far. Um, we'll see. We'll see. They still have a second half. We'll see what happens in that second half. Hopefully they, they turn up the heat. I think they will. But um, we just got to wait and see, you know. So let me know in the comments who you have winning the World Series. Let me know what you think of Most Feared. I'm going to go ahead and select all these to show you guys how many bats I got. Uh, this is not going to be accurate to what I spent because I'm going to have a couple cards in here that I already had. Um, also, make sure you guys do the, the set for the Trick or Treat pack. It is a free 88 overall nat. You get to pick which one you want. So if any of you are interested in those cards or if they'll help your team, uh, you can get like the safety. Um, there's a lineman. And I don't really know who else. But that, I, I've actually opened this pack some already as well as you can see here. But um, I, got, I took Jabril Peppers just because I'm going to quick sell them. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys do that. If you don't know what you need to do, it's under the um, Objectives tab. So you can just go in there, check it out, get it done. It's under like Cauldron or whatever. So we're at 106,000 bats and we still have half of the training left to go. Uh, granted, with that being said, if I take out Cam, where's Cam? If I take out Cam, we're at 60. So Cam, done. We'll have enough for another one. And I'm pretty sure with the training left, we'll have enough for that third one. I might have to roll it a couple times, but I, I can't do the house rules. With all that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.